They come on the left, they come on the right. They come from behind and they come from before. They come from and from over. But the seed God placed in is incorruptible. Oh my God. Anybody, anybody, anybody believe in that seed? If the seed remain in you, ah! Devil cannot win. Ah. Oh no. Hallelujah. Mm. Ah, you may be seated. Glory to God. God is doing an awesome work in these days and if you're not mindful of it you can easily well fall under the deception that God is doing nothing and nothing is going on for you but you need to understand something is always going on for a child of God because if his power was working towards you when you wasn't a child of God how much more now ah oh, Jesus he said, if while we were yet sinners, huh, he did not spare his only son to give him up for us, how much more will he give us freely all things? Come on, somebody. Huh? Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. He gave that word this morning. Some Romans 8, huh? verse 32. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for who? Delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him? He's not just, he will just give us freely all things. He said, he's giving you freely all things with him. Because if he's not with him, anything he give you, they're going to take it away. So that's why he says, how shall he not with him, what? With him also freely give us what? All things. Hello, somebody. And I was reflecting on that and sharing it with the people of God this morning. I was sharing with them, you know, we strive in this world to obtain some possession. And when we obtain them, then we strive hard to build them up to the satisfactory level we want to see it. And uh, the time we take to, to possess them and then to build them up, then there's little time left to do any further changes or to enjoy the fullness of all that we had. So we still have to pass it on to somebody else. Because we, the, the, we don't have the life if we don't have the life to hold on to that thing forever. Hello. So everything you hold in this life, you hold it temporary. Uh, you remember what Paul said, man? <coughs> Paul said it to Timothy in 1 Timothy 6. He said it that, you know, we, we have nothing here. We brought nothing and we cannot take anything with us. Uh, let every man be content. Huh? And know that he brought nothing here with him and he can't take anything from here. Huh? But you need to understand when the Lord says he's giving you the kingdom. It's more than what is here. Oh, you didn't hear that one. That one fly away like a jet plane. Hello. Huh? He said in First Timothy 6, verse 6 to 8. Now godliness with what? Contentment is what? Great gain. In other words, you have gained a lot when you have godliness and contentment. That is great gain. That's, that's great wealth. The world don't regard that as wealth. But the wealth that the world regard is corruptible and it decays. It rusts. Teeth breaking and steel. Huh? And it slips out of their hand as soon as their body falls. 
Come on now. But the true owner of the land, the true landlord, huh? when he gives you something, it's not given for a time until you pass. That is given for eternity. So that's why he gives you eternal life. So you, you're not holding it temporary. All those that holding these things in this life now is holding it temporary. But there's an eternal possession in Christ. Uh, the world don't value it. That's why the world become full. Hello somebody. But those that heed the word of God become wise. Huh? Yeah man. All the the house and the car and the land and the job and the money and the degree that you get it not go worth a cent in the kingdom that one worth a cent you know what worth into the kingdom is your godly lifestyle your faith your devotion to God the things that the world don't value that's what the Lord called true riches. Because when the Lord come, what you going to tell him must make you stay. Show me a bank book. Show me a certificate and your degree. Huh? Show me a house and your children. When, when, when my father was going to die, he cried cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, my wife and his seven children, he was the, the, the what they call breadwinner. My mother wasn't working and he alone working to provide for the seven children and wife. So he's thinking, when he said to the Lord, wife and seven children, the Lord going to say, oh, oh my, we can't take you now then because you have wife and children. One look the Lord give him. One look the Lord give him, he knows that no, he's not a Christian. That no, have no, that no, we ain't nothing. That's why he says, what will you give? Because you think you can trade in your, your accomplishments for your soul get saved. That won't save your soul. What will save your soul is faith. And he said, faith come by what? Hearing and hearing what? The word of God. And he said, oh, I can't hear without a preacher. The thing that the world don't value. Ah. Uh, they don't know the true riches of God. I said they don't know the true riches of God. Because they are blinded by the material things. They become ignorant and locked away from the spiritual things. Hello? Huh? Oh, so, oh, come on now. So he said then you have to understand. The, the, the things you have here. Still at first Timothy 6. The things you have here, they are temporary. They are what? They are temporary. And so if you understand that they are temporary, then you understand that you must not treat them like they are permanent. Mm -hmm. You must not what? Treat them like they are permanent. Permanent. When the Lord asks me about your soul, and I go ask you which school you go to, how much exams you do, how much subjects you get, and how well you do in a school, that will never come out of Jesus' mouth to you. And that won't weigh anything before Him for your salvation. You know when you go ask about? You know when you go ask about? I say, when we ask about it. Done what, what, what? Done what? What is the will of the Father? If we have a word proceed out of his mouth, correct? And, and what is the work of the Father for you to do the will? What is the work? The work of the Father is to believe on the one who is sent. 
Uh, you see, all the work you do, that's what God not going to ask about the work. He go ask you, did you believe on the one who I sent to you? That's what I ask you. you know. Did you believe on the one I sent? And everybody is sent to you. Did you believe? Come on. Because if you can believe on Jesus, you can believe on whom he sent. And no one can say, I believe on God, but I believe on Jesus. Because Jesus was sent. No, Jesus said, anyone that believe on God, believe on the one who was sent. And Jesus said, anyone who believe in me, will believe on you because I sent you. You see? He's still sent. They cannot believe in the sender and don't believe in the one who is sent. That is the spirit of the Antichrist. So you will say, I don't take no 666, but that is your preparation for it. Because the whole world will be under leader, you know. And the church will be under leader. And both their leaders will be in the flesh here in the earth. It's not in no heaven. You better hear what I'm telling you. The Antichrist that will be leading the world won't be no angel in heaven. It will be a man that bear the number 666. That's all. It's the number for man. You never say the number for devil, you know. Okay. So it's a man that will be leading the world into rebellion against God, you know. And it's a man God chose to lead his people into obedience to him. Hello? Uh, oh, no, here I go feel. I'm in a bad few, you know, here, you know. Hello? Because enough sweat me put into delivering what I hear. And them sit uncomfortable and hear it. So if they don't want to hear it, me feel bad for them if you don't hear it. The easy part is to hear it. The other part was to deliver it. Hello, somebody. Ah, uh, come on now. So we know he said godliness and what? Contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can what? Carry up having food and clothing with these things be what? In other words, don't get covetous and ready. Yeah, yeah. Start believe, say, who have enough things that them God bless. Uh, who don't have much things, you know, not to listen to them, cut them now. Go where part you want go. It's, that's why it says godliness with contentment is great. Gain is great gain. It all means I must not have nothing, I must not have no house, no fine car, no money, no good education, no good future in what the things that you are accomplishing in the earth. But it means that this must be of a priority, otherwise, the other things them out of place. Hello, somebody. Because he says, when this is not in place, people's heart are going to swell up, head swell up, attitude swell up, start to take their own course. And when that lick, you know, we don't care for even my mother. I don't hear me say it enough time, not sure. And she hear me say it too. And she knows it's true. She knows me serious about it. Yes. Because the thing is that when it comes to the word and the truth, me not have no friend, you know. I better understand that. When it comes to the word and the truth, me and your friend because of the word. So anytime you believe, say, me and your friend so you can bypass the word. We friendship gone through the work. We cannot have no till your head spin. The one that say, oh, me they go on so. Hello.
because you have to understand say our friendship has always been based from the start upon the word you know and you being here long not by make that change you know you know see it you know see some people be here longer than you and gone so it don't mean it says how long the year. It don't mean it says how long the year. It has to do with the thinking that after a while some things can go on because you know me like that. I mean, they should have said, no. Me don't know you like that. You understand? Right. So if, if the word shift out of a relationship, you can wonder why the relationship done it. Because you must remember the relationship we had from the start was according to the word. In other words, if it wasn't for the word, you wouldn't be here. So if you want to exclude the word and just be here, you don't feel funny when you feel some shift. And something lick you. And then you the ball out say, come pray for me. And I say, when you don't feel for pray for you, I know you know. Hello? You know why that? Because you want me just to waste prayer upon you. When you're in a prayer, in a hurt and need, what you don't want to hear me talk to you. You want to do your own thing. So you want to prosper in your selfish ways. I mean, I can't do it one day. You understand? Come in and I mix up. Hello. I have no alphabet soup yourself. Praise God. And I'll make some blender. We declare the gospel straight from the beginning. Also. Now, so you come from the man, we declare the gospel straight to what we say. This is what we mean. Huh? And it's that we live in. Also. Yeah, man, that's where you come and say, yes, you used to go to that church and you never see that there and you find say, the Lord put your ear now because you want the Lord sends you need an uh, upgrade in your spiritual walk and the Lord sent you here for it. If it wasn't here, the Lord wouldn't send you here from there. And you admitted you got something different coming here. So now you come here, now you must understand how to flow with the leadership here. Now. Otherwise, it's not going to be nice for you. You understand? You understand? You understand? You understand? Oh. Right, so we not care. Oh. Huh? We not care oh. who. They tell us straight. Walk straight. Let me say. Walk straight. Yeah. We, we, we want you to walk straight. Don't just see me that walk straight. Oh. Walk straight. So if you believe, say, you go stay down the so and manipulate and get thrown me. You want to find, say, you end up like the rest when they try it and end up out of the door now. You understand? Oh, you know what answer? Are you? Eh? Yeah, man, you're in a port that door like a them. And all kind of things they pitch pan them and dig pan them and they can't be tell where they come from. The time them ball and cry out to hear them cry, then come in for a little touch and a little prayer and then get a little ease and then go back again and go play hard like a pharaoh. God grip fear in the neck and say, Let go, people. Let them go. 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 Let them come say, no, let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Is he making the decision not to him? Till he reach to death. Is he made the decision not to until he reach to death? He more say, he more stubborn than Moses God. And Moses God, they show him, say, no. You care more firm than me. Maybe I long before you even know yourself. Hello? Mm? Hallelujah. So they need to understand purpose. What we say? They need to understand what? 
your purpose you must never forget purpose the purpose that God led you here you must never forget what you were going through when God made that shift for you to be here don't lose sight of it lest the devil but make you start to take advantage and take granted for what you have and take slight of the benefit you have gotten from it and become forgetful of the grace your commander why you are so achieved in what you have now yes you forget you understand uh, me say you understand yeah man i give me the talk i mean no say i can't talk hallelujah so we know say if you embrace the word of god something super so the devil has heightened his attack now you know and, and, and me in a warfare mode so excuse me me sound coarse yeah we mean a warfare mode the tone coarse too i'm ready to chop off some head you understand so so excuse me yeah yeah so so just behave yourself so it's so not catch you here just behave yourself uh, and understand who you're serving now so hallelujah because god have a plan and a purpose for you you know the things that god make it come so by buck up oh god almighty huh hallelujah glory to god god open doors for you fight battle for you take life for you come on he said he exchanged lives for you to be coming to the safety huh and we chop off wolf head runner so often you know so tell the wolf them say mind what they talk around this place you know because this is a preacher and a religious. And when no things say no things can secure no. Death we cut to no half and I see him preacher. I feel put no body down in a grave. So mind in ourselves, you know. You think I know chat about pastor this? Make your friend tell you. Don't fool yourself up here. Yeah? All right so you better understand yourself because we don't have to make no big nice head roll hallelujah. hallelujah understand the thing clear hello hallelujah. okay remember when me jolly grown up north street and then say pastor not two grown on north street how would they say north street so then call on canterbury and then call it not gully not gully yeah and we go on the seven weeks of thursdays around the preach and the first week we go on there a man start to blaze the music loud you know blaze the music loud with our canada to music and they say we come with very nice and him and him nice too and you know what happened before we done we want him off of the mic you know and tell him say hey you see when we do god business pack up and left i just hold your peace can you see if you make up so nice for god business you're not the first one you know hello you're not the first one and we still there hello and the man decides saying still the playing thing you know i'm when we done the service and the pack of equipment for left, a shot we hear bus water road, you know, where the fishman them there at the front part of the bridge. And a film head that them done out, out there. Police come to strip off the place with ribbon. Hello. Whenever I understand this, when they go back the following week now, then say, then they have nine night. So they want to play more music if friend will left now want to play more music for them. So I'm brother did. He said, you hear what happened to your brother? And you're still there, come and say with that. You hear what happened to him? And he's still there going with him thing. Oh, 
Nobody can talk to me. You can preach a man, go out with him foolishness. And some bad man come down and tell him, say, hey, you see that preacher there? Don't trouble that preacher there, you know? We hear some things about that preacher. You ever hear them talk about a man up a rose that's what they call about the dead preacher? And they say, they say oh, wait, talk about who named dead preacher? Which, which, you say, I'm black shark, man. They say, yes, man. They know him that. Say, every community that man is going to am preach and smile each other, smile dead before he left there. You, you think, sir? I think it's a buck up and I go up on the street often. It's to spare them from put themselves in danger. You understand that? Yeah, man, and he's still when a bus so in, in turn off him, but then he walk go out nice street, go to a shop and bus somebody and he walk come back and bus somewhere every time he pass with and go in the house and then slam in door and me just keep the preach and just ignore him. You know? You fall in the way, go there with you say, I'm not shut up on our wood, you know. You see the third you go there? Quiet like a mouse. Everybody come for meeting. Up to picnic, they sing song with you and they clap song, clap on. Three, four year old. Mother out there with baby palm breast. Turn up with them food, they're tired and no one's no seat for sit down. They listen to where they minister. I mean, I preach short. We know the kind of ministry you, you might not know. You know maybe, maybe I'm here to tell you. Because you know, if I deal with the ministry, then time if you know. But you must know what kind of ministry you come to. You need to ask if you don't know. And find out what kind of ministry you come to. You say, no, play, play ministry this. When we come upstairs, our youth live cross where this yard and bust in big news over this. Over there, turn like a ghost to now. Like a ghost stone. Put him back, sword upon the ground, and turn it towards the and place. Eh? When we up at the preach, he can't sleep at night time because he's still here where he's the ring in our head. Me say, I know we cause that. I hey, go, it was the talk to you. I have conscience that bother you and if you repent and turn to God. You know why I'm hearing God with all kind of antics over there. So you know, I kind of dirty music. So one night, I have to get up on the mic and say, shut up, that you know, I will be going to bust some blood over there and no, 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 can't turn over there. Hello? The following morning, we come after the Friday night, enough glass, we see in a, in a, in a road, so some broke up glass, uh, 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 and, and what, what did you say? Sitting up last night, funny party went up over there. We check it out. They say it, the, the man threw back up on him uh, and, and broke him. Eh? I'm going to say, Watch out. So I feel blood out there. In here, we can go and quiet for your time and then he start to hype up again. Hello? No, 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 remember him. Oh, well. And true that he said, enough of part, nothing over there. So we come in the park, nothing over there. Because we have Obia. Because one day come out in a big sunny man where we do so. They shine up in the car and they see me stand up on the stage and they, they, they whistle and play music. No, they carry me. Stand up and so they look upon him through, through the grill. So I know a bright sun hat, sun just. Rain just start to bust pan him and if he shut up his car and turn off his music and run going in, turn up panic and look at me like say, and me cause the rain to wet him up. You better understand this anointing. We don't come to play. And I told him that he would leave here before we leave. And it did so happen. Yeah, man, me tell him. Hello? The Lord, police and soldiers, me see the lick off in grill for take picnic out there for him. And then sit there. Left him alone over there. Picnic and baby mother gone. And then better understand himself. Anyway, we got people always oppose me. You know. The man, let me tell you so. Hello. When we come upstairs, a man, the security there, so they tell people, say, we're not there upstairs by the guard grill. Tell him, say, we're not up there. 
I mean, come out of here, man, and say, Allah, I'm going to tell him never say so. You understand? And now, when we go around and tell everybody, say, we have, we have camping on rent, and they go to a type place. We still want to so buy three months, and they want to so. And instead of out, so we have two places in the building now. Yeah. Then they ask if we buy the building. You better understand the anointing. We don't, I don't talk to someone like an old bad man at the anointing. You better understand that and you can't tell me how it work. Because I know you God give it to me with this. I mean, no, me dealing with here. You understand that? So you have to understand how we get in June. Hallelujah. Are the harder they come, the harder they fall. Now, care who send them. Mm -hmm. You know, see one man coming at the chual or lime. And, and when he come here and anything, turn him over there, so make him. They show him butter and sit down. And that we are in our place. See, they have to run, go, go cock up in food, panic, grill up there, so like something they burn him. And then coming back and taking something and run down the road. Something they burn and they have to put the foot up on the wall. As you better understand. Because you see, if you don't understand what you're running to, you will get hurt. And not no full full ministry this. And don't take it for one. It's not try a man around here trying something and some people that try to support him or help him out. Don't make it every fool you. Hello. Hallelujah. War fear we say. What we say. And the harder they come. So stand with me. And we're going to give them hell. Because God never sent your ear for me to fight against you. And he never sent your ear for you to fight against me. It's for us to unite our effort against one enemy. So don't be a tool in the devil's hand. Understand your purpose. And be used for the advancement of the cause in this house. Ah, uh, Hello, somebody. And when you do that, we are going to get greater and greater and greater results you believe that come on lift those hands and give god the praise my god my god my god because oh god bless no man can curse and they've been saying it a long time but they can't stop this Aye! Tell them to be careful because we will chop them off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are praying for them Hallelujah. to be healed, to be saved today. But if you come in and bite enough and want to destroy us, start praying for them. They will get hurt. Hallelujah. They will get hurt. I don't bear this sword in vain. I don't bear this sword in vain. Hallelujah. We are we here to make we here to prioritize and protecting sheep over goat. You never hear that one. We prioritize for the care of sheep over goat. Because the shepherd wasn't tend to sheep to, 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 to care for goat. You know? It's to care for sheep. You get the thing? Yeah, so if you, you behave as sheep then. Huh? And you get the best care. But if you start to behave like what? You're in danger in the sheep. And the shepherd have to put down any present danger to the flock. Get that? Yeah, because it, it is important that at the end of the day, the shepherd still have a flock. And I left with good. Uh, praise 
God. So we wanted to learn some lessons and be sharp. What we wanted to do. We don't want the devil to be whispering any rumor and news in the head that make you start to lean. We want you to stay focused. Huh? Because you can't come this far and know you have to step into the overflow. You the lean. You lose sight of what you're here to do. Come on now. So I'm telling you, refocus. What we say? Refocus. Get zone in on the things that God wanted to zone in on. And forget the distractions. And allow the Lord to steer you from victory unto victory. You understand the thing? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on now, lift those hands to Jesus. Father, we thank you. You showed me and, and uh, alerted me that wolves are coming. Wolves to devour the flock. And you, Jesus, you anointed your, your sheep. You anointed their feet. Because you know the wolf was coming. And you said to Peter, I, if I don't anoint your feet, you're not mine. And so we pray covering over them. In the name of Jesus, that the enemy will not cause their foot to slip, to lose their footing. For you said, they must put on the whole armor of God and stand against all the wiles of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. And having done all to stand, having all the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the girdle of truth, their feet shall be preparation of the gospel of peace. And having above all the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. And praying all prayers. And making supplication for the saints. Hallelujah. Supplication in the spirit for the saints. And for me. And I will preach the word boldly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I pray that they will have on the full mantle. The full armor that they will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy a shield of faith glory to god quench all the fiery darts of the enemy let none of them be wounded or become a casualty in this war but keep them lord that's how you prayed for your disciple that you prayed father keep them I pray not that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them by your power from the wicked one. Keep them from the evil one. In the name of Jesus. And cause them to be your plans to succeed in their hands. That they will increase and grow in the fullness of the statue of Jesus Christ. To be conformed to his image. And be filled with the very fullness of God. That they understand and be enlightened. To know the riches of the wealth they have in the saints. In the name of Jesus. Come on, give God the praise right now. Mm. Ha, ha, ha. Father, we release healing over this house. Healing over your people's mind. Over their spirit, over their soul, over their bodies. Healing, no shatarabasa, that they will rise up and fulfill the high calling of God in their life. They will not be dismayed nor terrified by the enemy, but that they will stand and see the salvation of the Lord. Thank you for this victory in Christ. We give you the honor and the glory in Jesus' name. Come on, give him the praise right now. Come on, give him the praise right now. 
Come on, give him the praise right now. Hoshatarabasa. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rababase Turoshende. I hope that you see victory and more victory being manifested in your life as you walk by faith. That you will not give heed to the flesh and allow the flesh to rob you of your crown. Or that you walk by the, in the spirit and live in the spirit. He said, if you live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit. Huh? And put into debt every deeds of the flesh. Lest we be disqualified. For those who are mindful of the flesh cannot please God. Huh? Come on, somebody. For those who are mindful of the spirit, it's life and peace. Glory to God. He wants you to have that life and enjoy that peace, that unity in him. Hallelujah. That fellowship that we have with both him and his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So I'm praying for you. I see them coming, but I'm praying. And I know they're plotting and they're conspiring, but I'm praying. And what they say will not come to pass if you stand with me and hear what I tell you. And follow as I lead. You will gain the victory. No if and but. It's a sure thing. Hallelujah. Do you believe? Oh, give God the glory in here. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I encourage you to stay focused and keep following the teachings online. We post it daily for a reason. Because we understand that each day carries its weight of troubles and challenges and difficulties. And each word is tailored each day to address them. To dismantle them and to give you strength to overcome them. Something is in every daily deposit of word release here to keep you daily in the Lord because Jesus' disciples was not with him once and twice a week. They were with him daily. So there's a reason why we give that word to you daily. It is following Christ. Hello, somebody. Right, that's following Christ. I've taught us to do it that way. Hallelujah. So we don't treat it religiously as a program. To give you once and twice when you're ready and when you can make it. He wanted to be feasting on the word daily. Hello. Yes, just like you eat every day. Yes, and you sleep every day. Feast on the word every day. Amen. Get make the time to get into the word to build up your spirit, man, in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That you will not be a weak opponent to the devil. Because he, he preys upon people's weaknesses. But that you'll be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Praise God. You believe that? Praise God. Time to release you. Give you a chance to sow and then release you to this place. Just put up your hands and envelopes will be given to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We know that as you obey the instructions, you will see the favor of God come on you. Just follow what the Lord tells you to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. While you're doing so, I will, uh, of course, hallelujah, minister to those who are watching online. Those who are watching online, you're watching Increasing Faith Deliverance Ministry International. We are three East Street, Montego, Jamaica. We're here always declaring the power and the gospel of Christ. We don't play with the word. We don't play with people. We don't make fool of or, or treat this word as some performance and some clown game thing. We know it's real. And we know people will have to give account for it. And we know that it will mean life, eternal life or eternal death and damnation. And so we're not playing about this. We know this is serious business. Jesus said I must be about my father's business. Hallelujah. And that's the business of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Because everywhere he went, he was preaching about the gospel of the kingdom of God. And you want to know more about that gospel? We have a book out there. It's called the gospel that Jesus preached. It's called the gospel of the kingdom. Tag the gospel that Jesus preached. Written by Richard V. Fagan. You can look for it on 
Amazon.com, type in Richard V. Fagan, and the book will come up. You can go online and do that, and you can order it through Amazon, or you can order it through Kindle, if you want to have the uh, electronic um, download version of it to your device. How you can get, do it, get it through Kindle, or you can get a hardcover copy through Amazon.com. Uh, if you are living in this vicinity, you can also order it from me. It might be easier or less costly for you to do that if you're in my vicinity and in my area. I have copies here at the church that we can get to you. Praise God. But it's, it's a great read. Persons are reading to realizing that there's a lot of quoting of scriptures in it to line by line, precept by precept, here a little, there a little, just giving the whole scope of pulling the word together to give you a basic understanding of that gospel. We couldn't put the whole thing in the book, but we give you a basic foundational understanding of it that as you listen to our teaching, you can better, get a better grasp of where we're heading, what we're tackling, and what we're, we're bringing you into through Christ and the word and his Holy Spirit working in you to bring you in the fullness of God. Amen. Praise God. So if you want to know more, check out that book. You can also uh, see more of our broadcasts on Facebook. Send a friend's request to Richard Fagan. You will plug it into the live stream every time you go live on Facebook. We have five broadcasts each week on Facebook. So there's a lot of material that we teach in those studies. It's over an hour of teachings in each one. So there's a lot of material you get to study from and really to improve and increase your learning in the word of God and in his presence and his purpose in your life. Praise God. And so you, you can also see the recordings on our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to our, our YouTube channel, Richard B. Fagan. And also you'll see there the recordings to the services are there. We also uh, have our website. It's increasingfaithintl.org. That's increasingfaithintl.org. You can go on that site and and look about us and see more about us there, vision statement, public statement, things about our ministry, all of that is there for you, but persons have been asking, how do we sow to this ministry? Online and abroad, we've been asked that you can always hook up to our online website, that's increasingfaithintl.org, and you can sow through that site, all the information is on the front page. And look at the bottom, you'll see more information there, how you can do so. But we believe that it is really giving you all the tools for you to connect with us and together we can build together a strong relation and a strong force against the force of darkness to bring about God's will and perfect plan in your life. Amen. Praise God. So we encourage you to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Any other question you have, you can of course ask me or call me at Richard V. Fagan at 876-839-9390. Or 876-557-2427. Looking forward to bring the word to your more and to increase your most holy faith in the Lord. Until next time, remember we are always here to serve and to bring you the level of truth that will secure your salvation in Christ. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. You blessed tonight. Oh, praise God. We ain't over just a little over time. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, you ain't got it too long. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Shelly, how you doing? Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> so lift those hands to Jesus. You're blessed to be here. I pray that grace will be multiplied to you and to your whole soul in the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rosh Hashanah. No weapon form against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment are condemned. It is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And his righteousness is mine in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I give God the praise. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God bless you real good. Have a great weekend in the Lord. Bless you all. Praise God.